Hello my lovelies and welcome to KQT Photography. In today's episode I'm going to be shooting this, my Zeiss Iconetta. It is a 6x9 medium format camera from 1942. Let's roll the tape shall we? So I've just arrived here at Fog and Tor. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, so I'm going to get out the camera that we'll be shooting with today. And that is my Zeiss Iconetta. I'm going to be shooting with Fomapan today. Fomapan 100. First time using it. And there is a view out there that is stunning. And immediately when you walk in, when you walk into the quarry from, from this entrance here, you look out and it is beautiful. I need that shot. I bet everyone has probably got that same shot, but I'm getting it too. This is my shot. It's starting to get dark. I'm running out of time. So I'm going to get this hooked up. Uh, where is my little shutter release? Where's it go? I used to know this. I used to know this. Kaylee, sort yourself out, mate. Sort yourself out. Nope. Damn. There's a shutter release on here, I swear. Turns out there's no shutter release. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to what I want. So, F11 to F16 is the sweet spot on this camera. Uh, so at f11, my light meter is telling me that I want to have one tenth of a second. But because I'm in between that and it is getting darker as I as I do this, I'm going to set it down to five. Can't hurt. Can't hurt. I mean, I, I'm unsure, so I'd rather overexpose it than underexpose it. So. Shot number one. So I thought I'd tell you a little bit of history about this place. So uh, mining here stopped in 1906. And uh, from then on, all the buildings that were around just started to deteriorate. So you can see there's some behind me. Unfortunately, there's some campers just to the side. And I'd love to get a picture of this place, but if there's a if there's a tent in it, it's not going to be great. So I'm going to try and go around, see what I can do. But th this place is fantastic. Like, so, uh, like I said, they ended in 1906. And after that, uh, before that even, sorry, uh, before that, they had been mining for about 100 years. Uh, a lot of the stone from the quarry itself, um, a lot of that went to London Bridge, uh, the new London Bridge, not the older ones, there are many London bridges. Uh, uh, also, it helped build Dartmoor Prison, which is just around the corner, not far from here. So, uh, yeah, let's see if we can get that picture, shall we? Okay. That is shot number two. Now then. pro photographer here. No, I'm not. I'm not a pro photographer. I'm a lazy, stupid photographer who forgot to wind the film on. So let's try again, shall we? We're going to need to go and shoot the uh, quarry again, I think, because I am an idiot. Wish me luck. Three, two, one. Probably blurry. Probably blurry. Right, 
Now then, so a little bit more about the, uh, the buildings there. They, so uh, they had a little town, a little community. There used to be like a hundred people, uh, at least a hundred people who lived here. Um, they had a smithy over there. They, they had a chapel. Uh, they didn't have a pub. I read that they didn't have a pub. They had to walk to Princetown. So they'd walk down here. This, where, where I'm standing now, this, this trail, this used to be a railway. So uh, they used to have carts with the granite that they had gotten from the quarry and they'd bring it along here. And it's, it's fascinating. Uh, you can see uh, in the granite on the ground, you can, you can see the grooves that have been worn into them by the heavy rails, the heavy things going over the top. Just gonna get one more shot here. Uh, there's another house there, but I just wanted to get a picture of the rubble so you can see the sheer, the sheer like, um, the sheer scale of what they've done here. I'm gonna lower the aperture just a little bit, just so that I can uh, get that. So, skin, the sun is setting. That shook. It shook so much. It really shook. I don't usually take sunsets. I don't. I don't like taking sunsets. But that view. I hate doing sunsets. But why? Why am I doing this to myself? Why am I? Why am I doing this? Am I? Okay, I'm going back to F11. I'm going to stick it at one fifth, one fifth of a second. Oh, it's setting, it's setting behind the clouds. I don't want to spoil this view. All right, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. No, I've not caught the shutter. It's too late. It's too late. It's all right, this is a test roll. It's a test roll. We know that. We know that, don't we? We do. So the uh, the quarrying here, it, it got so good that they, something I read, they, they managed to dislodge over a thousand tons, one slab of granite with one stick of dynamite. And that, that is impressive. Uh, I don't know how they got it out they must have hauled that thing. I have no idea. No idea. But it's, it's very fascinating. I, I've, I've been glued to this place. So uh, my, my friend, my good friend Daniel, he is Colonel Camps on YouTube. Go and check him out. He goes camping here on Dartmoor. And uh, his first video, he came here to Fog and Tor. Uh, and I, I don't know where he camped. Uh, nearby, somewhere. But uh, thanks to him, I found this place because I had never heard of it. Uh, and, and when I saw that Dan had come here, I was just like, oh my God, I've got to see this. I started looking at old OS maps from the 1800s. I started reading as much history as I could. I just wanted to know everything about this place. And oh my God, it's fascinating, absolutely fascinating. And just to see how little of it's left, like a hundred years. And these buildings, they're nothing. There's nothing left, hardly anything left. Uh, it's crazy. It's just crazy, it blows my mind. I probably shouldn't be leaving this open, but there might be light leaks. But don't worry, it'll be fine. Because this is KKT photography. Anything could go wrong and it doesn't matter because it's all in the name of practice. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this up a little bit more because it is getting dark. Uh, so, let's see. Let's crank it down to F8 and we will set the shutter speed to, this is probably extremely wrong and there are photographers, there are photographers online who are going to be looking at me and cringing right now, but <laughs> KKT photography isn't about doing everything properly, it's about doing everything 
at all. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> this could all be a load of crap. <laughs> I haven't cocked the shutter again. Right, here we go. Apparently, this is my seventh, well, sixth. Uh, seventh. <laughs> the shot was taken <laughs> there are many other quarries around there's a quarry down the road uh, a little bit further um Haytor, i think it's called Haytor. uh so Haytor apparently had better quality granite and uh, uh when the fog and tor quarry was taken over by the company that owned Haytor, they called this Haytor as well so no one knew what they were getting so if anyone says oh yeah this was Haytor granite it could well have been fog and tall granite. Hey sheepy, what's up mate? What's up? No, stay still. <laughs> They're running. They're running from me. All right, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I don't care. Okay, I don't care. We know these shots are bad. We know these shots are bad. So we know these shots are bad. So these shots are terrible. So I'm going to wind this on. We're going to see if we've got a number. Oh! We've reached the end of the film. We've reached the end of the film. So, this has been Fogging Tour. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful place. The history is fascinating. Uh, it's been a good night. I, it's a shame I got out so late. I wish I'd got here earlier. Uh, I set off at five. I got stuck in traffic, which is typical. I mean, five rush hour what could I expect uh, but I got up here <sighs> the shots the shots I don't think the shots are any good the shots are probably terrible um, but it's beautiful up here I've had, I've had a good time I hope you've had a good time this is my first video uh, so what next to the lab I suppose or the kitchen which uh, I will be using to develop this roll of film. So stay tuned. That's coming up next. So here we are, the final shots. Uh, I'm quite happy with them. I, some of them are blurry, I understand. The double exposure is quite interesting. Uh, the development process itself, I, I haven't quite gotten the final stages correct because there are suds on the uh, negatives. Uh, it's just a case of I'm not cleaning them properly. 
so it's just something I'm going to have to get better at. Uh, but overall, I had a good time. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time and I will be shooting Lomachrome Purple on medium format. So that should be fun. Catch you next time.